A mark on his neck and his truck. Not the only scars left for a local man after a violent home invasion. I was positive they were going to kill me. The first time tonight, we hear from the local homeowner who opened fire on two men trying to rob him. Chuck Wynn woke up to find two men standing over his bed with guns pointed at him. For 10 terrifying minutes, Wynn fought for his life, a fight that culminated in a gun battle that left him and one of the suspects bleeding from bullet wounds. Well, now we have learned that this was no random act of violence. Today, Cortez Beckman and Terrence appeared on, in court on burglary and attempted murder charges. Lake and Knight and Haley Petty also appeared in court today on charges of facilitating that burglary. It turns out that both Knight and Petty are former employees of Wins. A fifth suspect, Monte Harper, is charged with tampering with evidence. Now, Local 6's Julie Collins spoke to Mr. Wynn today about this fight for his life, his injuries, and the wound that cuts the deepest, a betrayal by two people he took under his wing. A bullet wound in his neck, just inches from a main artery. And if they would have cut that with that bullet, I would have bled out in one to two minutes. But that's not the wound that hurts the most. It's knowing Haley Petty and Lake and Knight, two young girls he'd helped out on more than one occasion, are the ones who set this whole crime in motion. And I don't even know how I can explain that, how I feel about it. But he's back at work nonetheless after a night he wishes never happened. But then when they opened up the door and turned on the lights, which they did, I was looking at two men with handguns. Um, one of them, um, Cortez, jumped in on top of the bed with me and stuck his gun to my forehead. Uh, Silas started beating me with his gun. And these are the bruises from a beating that lasted close to 10 minutes. He says the two suspects never said a thing until he started fighting back. Cortez started yelling, where's the money, where's the money, where's your wallet, where's the money? And I said, okay, I'll show, you, I'll show you where the money is. He brought them to his truck where he stashed his wallet and a gun. Open, but I was standing right here with the door open shooting at him as he was shooting at me. They exchanged gunfire and Silas was hit in the chest. Another shot ricocheted off the truck and another hit Wynn's neck. And I can only assume that I was not to be able to be there for testimony. But he is here and ready to see this trial through. And I want to see him off of the street. In Murray, Kentucky, Julie Collins, WPSD Local 6. Cortez Beckman and Terrence Silas are due back in court on October 7th. Knight and Petty's next court date is September 27th. Harper's is set for October 25th.